The Ministry of Gender is tonight raising the alarm over the rising cases of gender-based violence. According to Cabinet Secretary Margaret Cobia, the cases of gender violence increased by 36% last year. And as Mashirima Kapombe reports, the government is encouraging more reporting of these cases. 33-year-old Pauline Wambaire is nursing injuries inflicted by her husband. The father of their two children has been battering her every time they disagree. She separated from her husband, but that only lasted a few days. He asked for forgiveness and asked her to come back home for the sake of the children. Instead of leading her home, he took her to a nearby forest. Pauline reported the matter to the chief, but the man is yet to face the law. She is one in thousands, part of worrying statistics that have pushed the government to speak out. Between January and December 2020, a total number of 5,009 cases were recorded through the National Gender-Based Violence Torine 1195, and it showed that there's an increase of 1,411 cases, making 36% of reported cases from previous year. Nairobi, Kakamega, Kisumu, Nakuru and Kiambu counties have the highest number of reported cases, a situation that has pushed the political class to call for action. The government stating factors attributed to the increase in GBV cases being, among others, the COVID-19 pandemic, alcohol and substance abuse, retrogressive cultural beliefs and practices, poor parenting and moral decadence. We are calling neighbors, family members, to be able to voice that stop the silence, voice it out, and they decide to do something about it. Meanwhile, Cabinet Secretary for ICT has decried the insensitive manner in which Kenyans on social media converse about GBV matters. That our girls and boys can't have dates anymore. That if you buy someone something, you must reciprocate. How is that really a society that we can live in? It is something that is very depressing about where we are headed as a country and, and how people even on social media will hide and use this as an excuse and start blaming the victim. According to the statistics shared by the Ministry of Gender, only 20% of the cases are reported. But if substantive action is not taken against perpetrators, women like Pauline may lose hope in seeking justice. Mashirima Kapombe, Citizen TV. And indeed, we have an update on that case that we've just highlighted on Pauline. Um, the suspect has been arrested. That is the one concerned in Pauline's case, has been arrested today in Kinamba in Nyahururu and will be taken to court tomorrow for arraignment.